Now we're going to do the most important part of your WordPress website setup. And this goes if you're using Joomla or Drupal or really any CMS. It's all about how you set it up. It's all about figuring out how the widgets work, how the plugins work, how to add to the menu and all that stuff. Basically just adding a lot of stuff and widgets and all that good stuff onto your website to make it as usable and fun as possible. So I'm using the theme Hot Topics with an X and it comes with a ton of features and this is what it currently looks like. We'll just load it up, jeffdunn.co if you wanted to ever check it out yourself. But basically this is a very quick logo I made and all I did was add some pictures to each post and as you see each post is actually a bunch of Latin text so it's just placeholder stuff. Uh, so basically it's all sample data and it looks pretty good I'd say so far. It looks like a pretty professional website and you can make it look even better as a mobile device or on a mobile device and see how it gets rid of all the images down here but then when you expand it the images show up right there. So it's all pretty straightforward and pretty nice. So let's check out how we actually made it look like this. Let's say we want to change the color and that we want to change the menu around and that kind of stuff. So we're going to go here towards the back end. So I'll click on dashboard just to give you a frame of reference. So it tells you exactly what WordPress version you're using. And now we are going to go check out the theme options. Uh, so we basically every premium theme has theme options and a lot of free themes do as well and they're all going to vary so some are more robust than others so definitely check when you're looking to buy a theme or just download a theme the theme options it's extremely important so make sure it's easy to upload a logo although really you only need to do that once or twice depending on how comfortable you are with your logo so that's not uber important, but a lot of themes, that's pretty standard. Uh, logo height, that can vary. Feel free to tinker with that. Custom favicon, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or not, but favicon is basically up here. See the little U right up here? That's a favicon. So we don't have one on our site just yet, but I'll add one in later. But see here, Twitter, Hootsuite, and Creative Cloud and all that stuff, they all have little icons called favicons added to their website. So when you bookmark it like this, you know, you can see each one pretty easily. So MSNBC has a nice little NBC logo, that kind of stuff. So worth adding in and you can go to uh, Google, of course, and type in favicon generator and you can use any, I recommend a PNG image and it'll tell you how to do it. So. With PNG, you get a transparent background and make sure it's a square and it'll convert it into an icon right here. And you just download it and then upload it right to here in your theme options. Tracking code, that's Google Analytics. So you can just copy and paste it from there once you set that up. Custom CSS, uh, if you know what you're doing with the website, this is a great way to keep some design changes as you add new design uh, or add new theme versions rather. Um, but if you want to do something simple like, you know, tweak where this logo is placed, you can do that by adding in some custom CSS. And that way it won't get erased when you update your theme. Color settings, as I said, let's make believe that we want to change what the color is, that we want to make it all nice and green. We'll do a nice little forest green there. Uh, we'll keep the menu the same color and we'll make the link color mm, a similar green, a little bit different. So we'll hit save and see how everything is pretty red now. We're going to change it over, now it's green. Pretty straightforward stuff, huh? So now you can see all the links are green and everything is green. So your premium theme should allow for that kind of stuff. Font settings, feel free to play with these, uh, but there's always tons. So if you wanted to change things to, you know, play ball or any of these over the rainbow, uh, a lot of these are Google fonts. So let's show you what Google fonts are real quick. Okay, so if you go to google.com slash fonts, you can see what each one of these are. And they can, you can even type in your own text uh, if you want. So you can say, this course is great. And so you can scroll down and see exactly what it'll look like. Um, and you can see that a lot of these fonts are these Google fonts. Homepage settings, this will probably vary theme by theme, but for this one, you can have it be either a blog or a set of widgets. I just have a blog, which is just this stream right here, which I think looks good enough. 
Uh, the news ticker settings, that's a custom thing just to, for this theme, but that's this guy, the don't miss area. And article settings is basically what each individual article looks like. So right now we have show featured image in posts. So I'll show you what that looks like. That's this big block picture right here. And let's say we don't want that. We'll untick that, hit save, and now you can just refresh it, and now that big image is gone. So it's as simple as that. Uh, and we'll, so we'll just leave that on and move on to the next thing. Facebook, so keep an eye on this top right, right here, right by the RSS image. So let's say we want to make some links to our social media things. So I'm just going to add in these and hit save. They're not totally right, but that's okay. So we'll hit refresh. And now up here we have a ton of links. So a lot of premium themes do that. All you have to do is add in what you have in terms of social media and it'll add in some icons, which is pretty easy. I like this theme because it has uh, AdSense and advertising management. So this little guy right here to the right is a great way to make a little money on the side. And it's probably why you actually run a website in the first place. So make sure you have lots of ad management uh, tools. Uh, footer text, we're just going to delete that and hit save. And so here, let's scroll all the way down to the bottom. See right here, it says copyright 2013, hot topics theme, yada, yada, yada. Now we're going to hit refresh. And now it will just say copyright 2013. So that's useful if you want to show that you have registered it or copyrighted it if you have or haven't. Typically, good advice is to always say copyrighted because you can always ap apply for it. So you can basically say that it's copyrighted. Uh, one thing that most themes will have is this ability to click on the customize button, which shows you live updates as you do them. So you can change the color, but we can change the background color to something pretty crazy. You know, if you want it to look like an old GeoCity site, you can add a nice little awful blue right there. Uh, we'll leave it on default. You can add in a background image, change which menu appears where, and also change the static front page. So you probably don't need to do that, but it'll show you what it looks like anyway. So we're going to leave it as your latest posts, and we'll just hit cancel. Um, but that's a really easy way to do it. You can also go in here to change the background. Click on background, of course. And then you just select an image, make sure it's nice and large, and that'll then give you the option to uh, wallpaper it or make it repeat, essentially, in columns or rows. So it's all really easy things to use. Everything is essentially drag and drop, kind of like the menus, where you can just move things around and make them sub-menus and sub-sub-sub-menus all the way out here. So we're going to leave it as it was. And if you ever want to add in a link, you can just add in the link here. Uh, so we'll just add in google.com and type in Google right there. And so now, as you see right here, it'll show you Google. Uh, and I'm going to show you a little trick. You can click on screen options, and that's when we'll add a few of these things. So we'll do link target, and that now gives you the option to do open link in a new window. So we'll hit that. That'll save. We'll refresh the page. And now there's the option. You can't quite see it, actually. but So we'll just click Google, and that'll launch it in a new window. So pretty straightforward, right? All right, we're going to remove some of these things so it looks a little nicer. Okay. Anyway, we'll hit save again, and that'll take it off. And there we go. Now it's a little bit nicer. Okay, so that is how you customize your theme. Every theme is different, so I tried to be as general as possible. Let me know if you have any questions.